Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And tonight, I'm not drinking whiskey. Why? Well, I was walking through a liquor store trying to find a delicious bourbon whiskey to buy when I walked past this gigantic son of a bitch. This huge mother fudger is a plantation overproof rum. And I thought, it's dark. It's relatively cheap. It's 138 proof. I bet you that biatch is the shiat. It's, it's from Barbados, whatever that, wherever that is. It is bottled by a Mason Ferrand, Ferrand in France. So I got to thinking, I was started to think, what if overproof rum is the next bourbon whiskey. Could it be? Could it be? Let's crack this son of a bitch and see. Oh, Barbados. Holy shnikes that exploded off of there with some vengeance and fury. Heard you were made with grapes, you Jamaican guanian. Imported by the Deutsch family, wine and spirits, Stamford, Connecticut. Hey, I know a thing or two about Connecticut. Old-fashioned, traditional dark. Is this is this gonna be as good? Is this gonna be as good as a barrel-proof bourbon? Nope. Oh. In case you have uh, several hours on your hands while you are drinking a liter of overproof rum, you can read a gigantic story. I will just pick out a few words. Pick out a few words before I taste this overproof rum and give you my um, feelings about it. Plantation OFTD Overproof. Uh, first rum, Plantation Quest, Alexandre Gabriel. Scoured grizzled old salts, Jamaican Barbados. Royal Navy, Discovery Lubber. Yankee Scotty Shooter, Chicago McGee. Compass the Bum. Dr. David mumbled his prayers. Punch needs rum. Crew scraped together and cried as one. You know, make a long story short, as they say. Rum, 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 rum. Spilling it. Oh, no. Okay. That does not smell like the familiar, comforting nose of bourbon. That smells. Like, the hell is that? It's like burnt, like burnt sugar, burnt brown sugar. A burnt brown sugar Laffy Taffy, for sure. Is overproof rum, is, is overproof rum the next barrel proof bourbon? Well, let the expert tell ya. That was a punch square in my face with a lot of funky flavors that I did not like. Oh, you might be a good mixer with the rest of my garbage. Oh my word. Okay. I failed in the attempt to find the next bourbon. This is not as good as bourbon. If you find yourself walking through a liquor store and come across overproof rum and ask yourself, should I buy that instead of bourbon because maybe it's just as good or better for a lower price? Do yourself a favor and kick yourself in the nuts. Walk to the counter, tell them, here, take my money. And when they say, what would you like to say? I would just like to leave, go home 
and think about what I just thought about because I'm an idiot and this is not nearly as good as bourbon whiskey. This is as good as Yucky McYuckerson who drove a Yucksmobile over the Yuck Yuck Bridge over Lake Yuckaroo and then he got into his yucky canoe and drowned himself because he was underwater for a day or two. All I'm saying is don't buy overproof rum with the intentions of loving it. Because I did, and I need to go get in my yuck yuck canoe now. There's a bug. There's a friggin' bug up there. Come, come back this way, I'll feed you to the rum. The rum monster. The rum monster coming to get you, bug. Oh, yeah. Go right in there. I double, triple, triple bug dare ya. I triple bug dare ya to go in. Hopefully, I saved a few bucks for a few of you folks out there. Just don't buy it unless you've tried it and you like it. Maybe, maybe I just need to get used to this flavor profile of weirdness and powerful, powerful stuff. That was like a torch of yuck. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on trying new things. Unless I tell you not to do that. Like I just did.